Ah, these ghosty little winds. Ah, the ghosty little waves. As I head into the sunset. At quarter to eight. On a Friday evening. This is my first night camping. Actually, this is my first time this year camping. Um, we're having, a, we're meant to have a heat, a heat wave. Should we find out tomorrow? For now, it's a cup of cha. I uh, got some herbal night tea. It's very common. Uh, I'm gonna up, upload my stuff to Raba. And I'm gonna snuggle into my sleeping bag. I got all my down fabrics on. It's gonna be quite a cold night tonight. I'm not too bothered, you know. Got my lovely dining fit uh, down jacket. <laughs> And I got my marina wools on as well, so killed my new socks. <laughs> I got new socks, yes. Yeah. Someone read the newspaper and felt sorry for me and decided to send me some new underwear and new socks. So I have a little bit up-to-date version of socks now, which is quite cool. Um, not that the other socks were old. They're just brilliant and I love wearing them, you know. I love I love wearing marina wool. It just lasts forever. It doesn't smell. I keep saying that. It doesn't smell. I do a lot of adventures and they never smells. And if they get dirty, I just rinse them, you know. I don't wash them as in I don't actually use any washing um, products on it. I just literally rinse them and squeeze them and hang them on my line. And that's it. Marina wool will last forever if you respect it, you know. Okay, boys and girls. Night nice. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Whee! Yeah. Oh, wowzers. in the outdoors mm. Mm. I'm not too sure you can hear but there's loads of birds singing I hear a woodpecker probably an owl I'm not sure yum 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 every drop counts when you're drinking coffee Just get myself ready for a battle bridge. Here we here we come. So regards my sleeping bag, this is a very old sleeping bag. I've had this sleeping bag nearly 30 years now. Um it's a Burgas. It's a down 600, I think. Let me check, just double check there. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that down 600. So it's a winter, it's a winter uh, sleeping bag. It's quite snug. It's got one side of sip. You can sleep on whatever side you want. I generally just like to sleep on the darker side and have the lighter side up. I sleep on a foldable um, terminal mat and then I have a blow up one again. The blow up ones are okay but they tend to, uh, you tend to roll off them sometimes. And I don't like the way these little cuts are in there. I think they should be going the opposite direction. Um, like I find when you're sleeping your shoulders can get stuck in the corner, the, the little pleats there. And then you're technically on the ground, you know. So that's why I like to bring a second one. My beautiful Apex 200. It's a fantastic tent. I've had it for nearly 30 years now, I'd say. And uh, it hasn't let me down at all. It has a nice little porch here. Little clips. And it stays up above. Like, it's flat there, which is great. So you can often put your towel there and stuff, you know. And um, there is there the Fango. 
Apex 200. It's very compact, it's really light. It's a side on tent, as you can see there. Um, it's got a lovely hang on the back there. I often don't have all the, the wires on, you know. But uh, she's a great tent. It's really, really, really done me justice over the, all these years, you know. I haven't, I don't have any complaints with it whatsoever, which is fantastic to have such a tent and not to have any problems with it, you know. You see, it's got two kind of liners. It's got the any and the Audi or whatever they're called. So the waterproof part and then the, the shelter part. It's always warm. It's always snug. Um, when it has the outer casing on it, it has a little kind of curtain at the top. It's very, very small curtain. Uh, so midges cannot get into it, you know, which is very important. And I've had to deal with a lot of midges in this tent, and I've been lucky. You can roll that up, of course, and put it into a little, little hook there, but your filament, it's very hard to do all that kind of thing, you know. So there's the, the outer porch. You see here, it's nice and flat. You can hang things up or rest things up there. But you can also just have that porch for rain or whatever, which is great. And often, sometimes I clip on, at the end of the years, I clip on a little poncho. And I will cover over towards a tree, so I have a, uh, an external porch. And then on the inside, then, when you generally have the zip open, closed. So, you know, there's a little pocket here on the other side, which is great to put this into the sleeve. That goes around really, really smooth. And one sip, it's all the way around. And again, you have another little kind of uh, wind protector, but also let air in. So it, when it's really warm, I tend to leave that open like that and sleep. Like leave the door open and just sleep with the net there, which is great. So inside, you see, it's definitely a, she's a one-man tent. But I've slept in here with two people before. Quite snuggy. So you want to be very close to your friend <laughs> or partner. Yeah, uh, I'm six foot two in length, and from head to toe, I'm pretty much tight. So it's about six foot three, I'd say, in length. It's quite wide. Like I mean, in a rainy day, you get a lot of bags in there, and all your bits and bobs. It's a great tent. I can't complain. It's getting ten out of ten for me. It's got loads of little mud cons to it, and uh, it's easy to pack and very foldable. And when it's in the um, inside the bag, it's really, really small. You can compress it down really tight. You know. So that's my camp spot. Gotta say thank you to the camp spots always. You know, we should appreciate every little thing in life. That is uh, everything packed up now. Got my paddle, got my all my dry bags, all my kit and dry bags. And I got a Pacific stuff in Pacific bags because I rely on these bags. My uh, sea line bag from 53 degrees north. Thank you from my lovely sponsor Kip. This is where all my uh, sleeping bag and my clothes are. It's fully waterproof, I can rely on it. I've got my tent and my other products in this bag. There's a little bit of air sometimes getting into it, so I don't trust it for my sleeping bag. And then I'll, I've got cooking gear in this kind of general bag. Um, not worried too worried, too worried if it gets wet. Um, everything I've done is in my kayaking bags. These are my kayaking bags. These bags down from my canoe, thank you. And they're fantastic, I've got all my tech and all my bits and bobs. I don't really have much when I come camping. So I have a couple of bags here. It's better to go with small bags. One, two, one or two big bags for the back departments and the front departments, the hatch. Um, the camping mat goes in behind the seat. And then this emergency bag, you put like all your bits of bobs that you really you really need that you that if you can't get out of your kayak. So I have like spare hat, sunblock, spare everything in that bag, um, and just emergency kit, like first aid kit and stuff like that. And and then like everything else, this is all goes into the hatch, you know what I mean? It's great to bring an IKEA bag with you because when you're transferring yourself and all your kit from your campsite into kayak, rather than going back and forward, back, forward, back. It's better just to choke it everything into one bag and then go one walk down to the kayak, stack all, stack all everything into your kayak and off you go. Well, we're off into day two. Another fabulous, long and beautiful day out in the water. The oldest concrete bridge on the Shannon. So I've been told. 
so quiet. That's hopefully we won't be any boats. I haven't been up this section before, so I'm exploring this weekend and now paddling to Battle Bridge. This little fella here is little head in the water and he's buzzing around in circles because there's a bit of a flow. Hello Mr. Man, are you the marshal of the water? Is that your little head bouncing around? Yeah, good man. Yeah, very interesting. Nice big wall there. Getting rebuilt, beautiful. Stone. 